So tell us you hadn't allowed uh, fewer than 19 in the game. Well, you know, we had some issues. That we turned them over three times. Um, the turnover ratio lost that three to one. Uh, did not uh, um, operate very well on third down. What were we? Um, four fifteen. Four fifteen. You know, which for what we do, that's important. We've talked about that. You know, so we're off the field and penalties. You know, we had a couple drive killers. Um, uh, from that standpoint. And then we got in a situation where we had to drop back and we had problems and issues in protection from the quarterback. You know, it's kind of hard when a when, uh, quarterback couldn't set his feet to get the ball downfield. So um, LSU played very, very well on defense, uh, you know, but six minutes to go, it's, a, uh, it's, it's, it's a, still a six-point game. You know, you're in the fourth quarter, uh, you got a football game going. And, you know, they, they closed it out and we didn't. Been been very very rare. You know, we got we gave him a first down, and we went to try to block it. And just just missed it. You know, that's a gamble. That's my fault. You know, you could easily say, hey, let's return it. But uh, trying to get something going there in the red zone. Uh, you know, and, and um, you know, we 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 made the call go for the block. Danny had great effort. You know, but uh, uh, gave him gave him the ball there, and and. You know, we gave up big returns, which we haven't done all year. So, like I said, you know, there were some things that were uncharacteristic of us, 11 penalties, which is uncharacteristic of us, um, and uh, some composure issues on, on the, out, of, out of some guys that uh, were concerning um, that uh, we, we just talked about in the locker room and, and, uh, and going forward. So, you know, I, um, um, you know, our defense hung in there as long as they could. You know, we, we got to be able to to uh, score points and help them and, and give them some more confidence. Even at the end of the game, we called timeouts and got the ball back. So, you know, our guys were giving great effort, uh, have given great effort all year. Uh, but, you know, the, the, the three things we talk about, you know, play, play uh, hard, play smart, and be physical. You know, y y we didn't play very smart tonight. And, uh, and uh, in a game like that, you know, with, with the emotion of senior night, you know, everything that's going on here, you know, uh, y you can't make the mistakes that we made tonight and expect to win. Coach, you don't have another game next week. You're going to have to wait a while to play. Is that going to be tough to sit on this one like this for that long? Uh, no, actually, I'll, I'll be in uh, home visits tomorrow night. So um, we're, we're leaving to go recruiting. Um, I'll be up and be out recruiting starting tomorrow night. So, you know, our guys, we, we talked to them about their schedule. Um, and for the, over the next couple of weeks, you know, we won't find out who or, or, or where we're playing until a week from Sunday. So, you know, at, at that point, um, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll turn our focus to, uh, to that game as we always do with a bowl game and, and how we've treated it in the past as a uh, – uh, really, you know, that will be the, the end point for our seniors in the beginning of next year. And so how we approach, uh, we can't let this, uh, this linger, um, but how we approach this next game is going to be important from a team standpoint, from a coaching standpoint, from everything. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see where we are. And, and, and after, you know, sitting down and, and, and being able to look at it in depth and look at our season in whole, you know, then we'll um, – you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what we need to do to, to, to try to get better. How would you grade your offensive staff this year? You know, I don't know. I'm not, uh, like I said, you know, I'll wait till the end of the year, sit down and look. You know, we, you know, we, we, we played with some young guys at quarterback. Um, and I thought, uh, you know, Trey Carson um, had, a, had a really, really good year, you know, with uh, had a thousand yard rusher. So, you know, um, and getting uh, some other guys in there. So, you know, we'll, we'll sit down and we'll look at where we are. And then, um, you know, we'll evaluate where we are, you know, um, by position groups and, and, uh, and as a whole. Okay. But it's just like we do for everybody, for offense, defense, and special teams. And, and then uh, um, my job is, is to, you know, put us in the best position that we can be in uh, to win games. Coach, did you get any sense from Coach Davis this week about how 
important this game was for him, you know, coming back to Baton Rouge? It's, you know, it was an emotional game for him. Is you, you can't spend that much time at any one place and, and not have feelings. And, uh, um, and you can't spend that time with, with, with people. You know, so there's, there's the, uh, that part of it, and then there's the human element, you know, that's involved too. And, um, um, you know, certainly um, uh, there are a lot of people here in Baton Rouge that he's close to, uh, a lot of people in, uh, at LSU that he's close to. And, and um, um, you know, I, I don't, you know, it's nothing that he verbalized all week about, you know, anything more than that. Just from being around him, you know that. Uh, no, no. I think that's between me and him. Thanks, right. Coach. Thanks.